All right. All right, there we go. How's it go? Sorry you had to see the mess behind. What is up, everyone? What is up? So, today I'm just going to talk about some things. I just got back. My son's... Uh, son's uh, award ceremony and uh, yeah so what I'm going to be talking about today is uh, what I got from saltwateraquarium.com for the Red Sea Reefer and things that I don't like per se uh, for the Red Sea Reefer so Things that I don't like. Uh, let, uh, let's see. Let me make sure I put that on. Uh, don't know. I'm trying to figure out if I. Uh, yeah, I probably did. Anyway, sorry for the little bit of a rambling here. Hopefully, everybody can see the uh, live stream. So things that I don't like. Hey, what's going on, man? How's it going? Uh, is this guy here? A lot of you guys that got the Red Sea Reefer know about this. Whatever. This is for your um, reservoir. I don't like it. So there's some things that I've done, and there were some things that I put on YouTube asking you guys what I should get for the Red Sea Reefer 350. So I put my list together, obviously got with saltwateraquarium.com. That is my go-to place to get my stuff, period, period, point blank. Now, if they don't have something I, you know, that I need, obviously I'll, I'll resource it other places. Uh, for the most part, they do a great job of uh, getting things. There's things that I ask them to start getting in because it's things that I use and I try to keep what I buy under or get under one roof. Um, but if they obviously feel that it's junk or whatever, they, they just won't carry it. Uh, if it's not doing them any good, which is understandable. What's going on, Phil? Hello, everyone out there. I reef, everybody. Thank you for, uh, I reef once, uh, thanks uh, again, I reef too. I want to give you a, another appreciation, man. You didn't have to do that. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, anyway. Uh, that's where I go to. So, I didn't like, I don't like about the Red Sea is this, this extra aquarium uh, that goes in the south area. And, and the reasons why uh, is because of the fact that I feel that it's in my way. And I wanted to run a protein skimmer. So, I ended up going with this. It might be a little bit noisy with the the humidifier kicking on and stuff. This is the Red Sea uh, Reefer 600 protein skimmer. Um, and I can say that it's pretty cool. This is my first time, honestly, let me get this lid off, there we go. This is the first time I ever had a protein skimmer. I got a protein skimmer outside of a reef octopus. I'm just saying. Reef Octopus is my workhorse for protein skin. I, uh, they're built really tough. And when I got my hand on this, this is really thin, light material. I mean, light. Uh, I, I find it kind of a little janky and, and whatever. Uh, that's just because I'm so used to a Reef Octopus. Uh, the material a reef octopus uses is thicker. Uh, my little 110 is heavier than this. Uh, that doesn't mean that this is not a good protein skimmer. But I must say, uh, my initial thoughts on it is that it's 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 really thin material. Uh, this this little knob here for your adjustments, um, I, I would be very careful with. As far as adjusting your water level and stuff like that, 
Now, this is not on, obviously, for the simple fact is uh, there's really no rush to put this on quite yet. Also, though, but what I did like about this uh, Red Sea Reef, uh, Reef uh, Reefer 600 is this neck cleaner. That it's got a built-in neck cleaner that you can just clean your neck. Just turn it and help clean the neck. I do like that feature about the Reefer 600 here. Protein skimmer, that is. I do like that. So, I guess you get your plus and minuses, you know, it's lighter material, whatever. You do get a neck cleaner, though, which is a good thing. As far as this, though, this is in my way. If I need to uh, do something with my return pump, I have to drain this to move it out of my way, uh, take out the, you know, whatever. Uh, it's just in the way. It's in the way. So, what I'll be doing, and I'll show you guys another update later, uh, as I put these items on the aquarium, is that I went with this. 10 gallons. And I got a couple other things, so I don't have to carry any water to add to that aquarium, uh, to, for the ATO, for the auto top off. 10 gallons. This is from Saltwater Aquarium. You know, I could put my, you know, how I'm going to top it off. I have some other things that I just turn a knob and it's going to fill this up. And then in return, this will keep the aquarium filled up. So, uh, these are the things that I did for it. This is the uh, CWT Aquatics uh, ATO Reservoir. Uh, I like it. It's black. It matches the stand for the reef octopus. Now it goes on to the other, the other side of the sump area. So it fits in there really nice. It really looks good. And that was another big thing. I'm not, I, I won't have a lot of, you know, stuff in there. I still have to get a return pump and stuff like that, do a return pump. I'm trying to figure out which one we're going to go with on that. So right now I just have a, a it, it, it's it's kind of rigged as far as a return pump, pumping water and letting that do its thing right now. But we'll we'll be changing the uh, pump out on this. But for right now, this is something else that I decided. Also, we will be doing a Tunzi Osmolator 3155. Now, for the most part. Uh, I use Tunzi, I use JBJ. Now, these things weren't on the list uh, for you guys to uh, take a poll. So a lot of this stuff was, you guys did a poll and said what to put on here. All right, now, I made that list based off of what saltwateraquarium.com has in their inventory and what they actually said. So, therefore, that list was based off of that. Some people wanted me to go with the new titanium from BRS. Well, they didn't have that on their list yet. Now, I don't know if they will be carrying the BRS uh, new titanium heaters or not at some point. I don't know. I guess I could call and find out, um, but I, I did. So I took what they had on the list. Uh, a couple people mentioned that. That would have been on the poll as well if they had it on their list. So Tunzi will be going with that. Also, we went with the Eheim heater, all right? Um, just got done talk, talking to you about that with the ink burp. So I put a couple of different controllers uh, as far as heaters and stuff like that. You guys that uh, participated in that poll had the final say. That was the winner of that. And then the narrow five is the other thing. So the narrow fives are going on as far as flow for that aquarium. Once again, there were several different ones that uh, we put on there. You know, you can go back on my YouTube stuff and look at the, you know, poll thing. Uh, these, these one hands down. So, which is cool. I, I already have, you know, some other stuff, but this is what you guys wanted to see on this tank here. 
Now, as I get other tanks and decide to do other things, I'm sure you guys will try to want to put something else different just to see and whatever, and that's fine. Um, don't know a lot about them. They look pretty cool at the uh, shows, so therefore, um, I'm pretty sure that they will work quite well. Nothing's been installed. I got this yesterday. Was just going to put up a video without doing a live stream, but decided, you know what, let's do a live stream and uh, talk about this stuff real quick. Just makes it easier. Hey, it's up. It is what it is. I ain't got to edit it. Straight raw footage. And I'm cool with that because I ain't got nothing to hide. So therefore, that is what it, that's what it's going to do. Um, I will make videos of each thing. Hey, you know, this is what it looks like inside the aquarium for this, for that. Uh, that type of stuff going through each one of the products. But as a whole, I wanted to show you what I actually got in yesterday. So, um, that's, that's pretty much it as far as that. Now, what I don't like, like I said, um, I love the Red Sea Reefer 350. Uh, every time I come down and look at it, uh, it, 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 it really looks awesome. Like I said, as far as this, this does me no good. Um, I don't think they, you know, they need to actually implement this in, in, the, in the sump. Uh, I really think it's just something that's really in the way, as far as I'm concerned. Um, I think it's in the way. Um, for people that don't want to use a protein skimmer, okay, you can slide it over and off to the you know left hand side where you know where it's going to overcross the skimmer where the skimmer would sit that's fine but if you want to run a skimmer and stuff i find that this is in the way because you'll have it on the one side you got your return pump here you got filter socks here um if you want to be able to access underneath this you have to drain this you shouldn't be moving this while it's full um that's just all to it me, I just decide, I just want to eliminate it. I, I want to make, if I'm going to be setting up aquariums, I want aquariums to be set up where it's easy to maintain or easy maintenance. Because when you get into things that are really difficult um, to work on, you'll find yourself actually not doing the things that need to be done. Like clean your return pumps every three months. Every four months, every one, you know, once every six months. If it's hard to get to, you'll just leave it alone until it just burns out and just dies eventually where you have to, you know, get a new return pump or whatever the case may be. Um, I, I like to make things easier. Now, on this system, I was also asked about um, putting a calcium reactor on it. I will not be putting a calcium reactor on this system. I have a big calcium reactor on the beast that that's all we need. Uh, as far as different using different dosing pumps and stuff like that, that's more like it, what I'm thinking about using uh, for this system. I'm not a big fan of uh, utilizing dosing pumps. I am a calcium reactor uh, guy. Uh, you can't beat it. It is the truth and it does what it needs to do and creates better stability. Uh, for me, consistency and stability is key when it comes to reefing and becoming a successful reefer. Um, and that's just all to it. Nobody's going to tell me otherwise. Uh, that is it. That's all. Most of the people that talk about this stuff nowadays that are on social media got a lot of that from me. Um, and that's just the truth. I don't need a cookie or a pat on the back for that. It is what it is, whether they love me or hate me. Uh, the, the reality is they get it now. You know, um, a lot of people are running calcium reactors. I talk about calcium reactors so much because it seemed like it was a dying thing for whatever reason to push other things, um, uh, other products. Doesn't mean those other products doesn't have a place, you know, when it comes to dosing pumps and this and that. They do. Um, I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, at the end of the day, period. Um, 
you know, far as dosing pumps, dosing elements and stuff like that, cool. It is what it is, does what it does. Uh, for me, it is what it is. So for that, the, the Red Sea Reefer 350 that's over here, over there, what you see is the JBJ uh, that is coming down. Uh, over here, we will be uh, probably doing dosing pumps for the simple fact that uh, the beast has a calcium reactor. And there are multiple ways to being successful. Doesn't matter as um, long as it's being done uh, at the end of the day. You don't need anything besides water changes uh, and being able to keep up on it and watch how much you put in your aquarium as far as food, buy a load and stuff like that uh, so you don't create some nuisance for yourself. It's really, really simple. This hobby is as simple as you want to make it and the key thing is to making things simpler for you and by making things more simpler for you is basically making you a little bit more lazier but at the same time having that stability uh, for your reef tank. And, and what I mean by lazier is, is a, it's allowing you to step away from your tank to I feel from you having to constantly stick your hands in the tank and always want to meddle with something, play around with something. You know, once you set it up in a way that it's really sustaining and running itself, you would find yourself more chilling and just sit back relaxing and chilling and watching the aquarium and watching it grow and, you know, everything just interacting as if it doesn't know it's in a box of water. Um, that's just me. When it comes to the Red Sea Reefer, though, I think it is a very nice sleep tank. Honestly, if I wasn't into my big boy status tanks, I could picture myself having a tank, uh, this Red Sea Reefer 350. Um, it's, it's, it's really sleek. It's really nice. Uh, and honestly, every time I come down and look at it, I'm just like in awe with it. So I can see myself doing that. Uh, but what I don't like is, is, is this. Um, and... Honestly, I'm not that big of a fan for the material because uh, I really feel that it's really, really, it's, it's, it's just really light. It, it, it really is a light material. Um, I, I would be very, I'm more cautious handling that than I am a uh, reef octopus. Like, I'm being honest. Like, I feel like if I put too much pressure just grabbing it, it might break. And that's just the honest to God's truth. But that doesn't mean that it's not an awesome uh, protein skimmer. I haven't used it, haven't used anything outside of a reef octopus, so honestly, I don't know. So we'll get to that uh, and get more detail into that once I get it up and running and see how it goes. So I have to put it together, get it all put together. Like I said, there's parts that is just really flimsy that don't, don't put too much pressure on it because it might snap. But other than that, we're good to go uh, when it comes to that. So, questions. Um, let me grab a chair and see what you guys are up to. When it comes to this. All right. So, let's see. What are you guys talking about here? Long time missing. Uh, yeah. Yeah. What's up, Flash Gang, G Max? What's up? Can you get a red seed tank come with return pump and, and such, or do you still need to buy everything else? Um, they have a package when it comes to lights and whatever, but as far as the return pumps and stuff like that, I think you have to buy all that stuff yourself, to be quite honest. So, uh, Advanced Acrylic makes some pretty nice ATL reservoir uh, just an FYI for anyone that's it uh, Tunzi ATO tip when doing water changes turn on the ATO before you return ah uh, yeah from automatically turning on the pump yeah uh, my MP10s took a crap that sucks uh, will the new ATL reservoir uh, sit next to the tank or in the room in the in the stand so there's room in the stand for that to answer that question uh, hello everyone I have two narrow fives 
uh, on back wall and MP40 on the side. Okay, I heard they are strong pump, but can kill your fish or an enemy. Uh, I've I've seen guards made by Malev. Okay, so for the narrows, I, I take it. Um, any pump will kill that. So anyway. So if you do break something, the replacement parts are cheap. Well, that's nice to know. Like I said, um, like I said, the only thing, only thing, you know, I love the, the waistline here. Uh, the only thing that I feel, like I said, is that, uh, is uh, everything feels, well, this is, really tight first off because it's whatever but everything feels like it's uh and I'm I'm being dead serious like I feel like like that is really tight to get it out. I do like this neck cleaner. I do like the fact that it's really clean uh really tight and you know squeegee you just manually do it that's okay. Um, the, the, the neck part does have markings, one liter, two liters on this. Uh, here, you see, you see the seam here. You see the seam line here. Um, that could be cleaned up better. But you can see that the neck, the neck or the collection cup does feel heavier and thicker material than the body. To be quite honest but other than that like i said we're good to go i'm going to start getting some of this stuff on if you guys have any questions or i forgot to answer something or your thoughts on something just leave it in the comment section um, of this video i don't know what else to do uh, i did check out the inkbird controller i did open this up yesterday and take a look at it um, I hear a lot of people talking about it, so we did get the uh, dual with the with the dual which we call it uh, probes there. So dual heater or dual, you know. So I don't know much about it. I'll be getting it up, getting it on the aquarium. Hey, we'll see. Uh, how well it does and holds up. Like I said, I don't know much about it. Uh, I put what I put on there, what they carry from, uh, like I said, Saltwater Aquarium. Um, and that's it. That's it. Don't know, don't know much about that. Don't know much about the Narrow Fives. Never used them. Um, they do up to 3,000 gallons per hour. We will not be exceeding nothing crazy like that uh, on 91 gallons. But hey, it is ATO reservoir that is definitely needed. I am tired of topping off already this tank with gallons of water. Uh, it's probably going through a gallon to two gallons. It seems like uh, a gallon a day almost. Uh, but yeah, I'm done with that or half a gallon, somewhere around there. But other than that, that's what we got. I don't want to keep mumbling on. Don't want to really you know, drag out this video live stream. But uh, what I don't like, like I said, is the ATL, so I switched that out. Protein skimmer, uh, obviously, has you know, we don't know how well it's going to work. We're going to find out uh, when it comes to that. And, um, yeah, we'll find that out. And that's about it, you know. I, the material, I don't like, I don't care for, but other than that, we're all good. So, uh, does the Inkbird heater controller have Wi-Fi? Uh, I, I don't know. I, I think so. I, I have no idea. It's a smart home. Uh, includes two temp probes. Uh, it has a Wi-Fi uh, sign right here on the corner, signal. So maybe so. Um, that's what it shows me on here. 
like I said, I have to get into it and see um, and set it all up. Don't know if there's a uh, an app that I need or something to control it, probably Inkbird app. I, I don't know. Uh, I just wanted to get this out and share this with you. Um, that's the one you want? Uh, there you go. So I want to make this stuff as simple as possible as we're doing. Um, here, they're doing a package deal. So I got this one. They're doing a, a package deal. So you have to get on saltwateraquarium.com. I forget what it was. Um, but I did it as a package deal. I didn't just buy this and this. They're bundling uh, this stuff together. So uh, the, the app uh, has a graph for Inkbird. Okay, there you go. Happy New Year's, guys, uh, for everybody that's still uh, saying that. Oh, yeah, Inkbird. Uh, 306, right here, I didn't even see it. Inkbird 306 Wi-Fi heater controller, Wi-Fi heater controller. So I guess this is the one everybody really wants. I never, I didn't even pay attention when I put this together and just said the, the combo. So I got lucky on that one. I didn't know, like I said, a lot of times, I don't know, um, you guys fill me in on stuff. I don't keep up with the Joneses when it comes to that. So it is what it is. All right, so if I missed anything, yeah, I did miss something. You guys, there's only 15 thumbs up in here. Get those thumbs up. You guys forget to hit the thumbs up definitely get those thumbs up and don't forget to share my videos uh, so other people get the notifications because you know the algorithm and YouTube is whatever obviously it doesn't really matter to me but I like least like to get my stuff out there for other people to, if it helps them hey that's what it's all about is paying it forward letting somebody else say hey I was just looking at this or I was just wondering about that well Rico just did a video on the head you know, I don't know, five different pieces of equipment he just got. Yeah, so, you know, help people out. Hit the thumbs up. Hit pe help people out. Uh, sorry for the notifications but uh, that you're hearing in the background. I did not put on Do Not Disturb. Um, other than that, I feel like I'm forgetting something, and I'm not quite sure. Oh, I will be changing, uh, doing a big change on my... For you guys that made it this far, I will share this with you. Should I share it with you? If I get to 75 thumbs up or 74, how many people's on here? I will share something really big major with you that's going to be changed out on the beast. I think I'll do that. I'll give you guys, uh, where are we, 27 minutes and 50 seconds in? So I'll give you to 30 minutes. Uh, so we have about roughly three minutes exactly. Um, but I will share something really major with you um, that I'm going to be changing out um, for sure. So I'm going to be changing on the beast. You know, I don't like to do a lot of changes on the beast, but that's what I'm going to do. So, and I need y'all to share this video as we're live. Come on, we only got a couple minutes. <clears throat> but yeah uh, Refugium algae reactor not telling I'm not telling until we get those thumbs up so um, yeah let's get them up and uh, share the video and I'll be glad to show you guys if not then you're just going to have to wait um that's a new Jaeger uh, thermal coupler. Uh, yes, that. Yep, there you go. Oh, and guess who's in the building? Saltwatercram.com is in the building. So. <clears throat> There you go. It stops running when it's dry. That is very important too, guys. So like I said, there is a couple things I'm still, um, like I said, are we still waiting on um, a return pump for the Red Sea. Um, and I'm 
trying to figure out because we're not doing a calcium reactor on it. We're going to do dosing or some some form of dosing pumps. Um, all right. So on the beast, I'm going to be changing. Uh, awesome. I've been using it for years. Yeah. I, like I said, speaking of saltwateraquarium.com, I don't know. There's a lot of people asking me about their... Um, about the uh, BRS titanium heaters. If y'all still here, are you guys going to be getting those in? What time of tank is it going to be? What type of tank is it going to be? Think about changing out my heaters. It's almost a year old now. I have had Jagger for years. Well, I've been running them for years as well, to be honest with you. I've been running them for years. Um, so it was this. There was a couple other heaters on the, the uh, list that we had when it came to uh, giving you guys, you know, as, as many options as saltwateraquarium.com has on their website. Um, and, at, you know, put a couple of those things in there for you guys to take a poll on. Um, this and it was the, the new BRS titanium heater. Like I said, I have no idea if they're... Uh, going to be carrying those or not. Bummed out uh, protection. That's nice. Uh, burnout protection. Oh, yeah, yes. Thanks, hon. I have BR's titanium 300 watt heater and very happy with it. There you go. Uh, do you still need to calibrate that new? I, I have not opened any of this stuff up. I just got this stuff in yesterday. That's why I wanted to talk to you guys about it. And also, for all new people, um, once again, that's new to my channel, there will always be a link in, the, in my videos in the description, and you'll see saltwaterquarium.com. There's a link. So if you already have an account, um, it will link the two together so you guys can get 5% discount code for life. Now, if you're a veteran and stuff like that and you already signed up, you probably already know about it. You guys get it automatically, uh, and they can't double dip, but obviously it's just a nice feature. Uh, to have to be able to at least get something back in return as you guys are spending money with a company for me that is a big thank you you know that that is a thank you a big thank you so um i got everything as a package so i don't i didn't you know separate what's what uh or how much i just got all my stuff together and whatever. Uh, you're talking about the ATL from Tunzi? Always looks to be uh, Rico to keep it. Always looks to Rico to keep it real. Well, um, somebody's got to do it. Uh, setting up new tanks. Woohoo, fun. Uh, it is fun. It is very fun. Um, but I also want to do it right the first time. You know, when it comes to, like, uh, when I ask you guys what type of uh, whatever, you know, it is what it is. Controller. Well, I, I don't want to open up a can of worms with the uh, the controller. Everybody ran out and spent their pre-ordered and all that. But, uh, so that one will probably, is going to be off the list. Um, we're not going to get into all that. Um you guys might know some of you guys might have paid for it and, and your money's gone but um controller on this no but i i, I don't think we're going to run an apex or anything on this um if we did maybe in the future i i don't i really don't know if i really want to put an apex on this uh to be quite honest um because i kind of want to keep it you know, simple, but, and you can really control it with like using Inkbird or using the new heaters that if it runs dry, it automatic shuts off. Uh, you got an app, you know, you can run for your, 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 you know, whatchamacallit. Protein skimmer, really don't care too much about uh, when it comes to that. ATO oscillator from Tunzi has an alarm if it's dry, if, you know, if the water level drops too far, it gets too high. It's going to sound an alarm. So 
No, no, yeah, you, you know, I, I just don't, yeah, I just don't really see the purpose really. Um, I mean, I think it's cool if somebody wants to see me set them up and do all that and whatever. That's fine. Um, but right now, I just don't think we need a, a Apex, you know, and all that stuff right now with, with these tanks. I, I just don't. I have an Apex on my main system. You know what I mean? If we want to talk about the Apex, we can talk about the Apex. I have it on my on the Beast. Um, I don't really need like 10 Apexes in my house to control 10 different tanks. Um, I really don't. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I don't think so. So, next tax season splurge. Well, that's cool. If you don't have one, then definitely get one. I, they're definitely worth the money. Uh, I'll be honest with you. Definitely worth the money. Definitely worth having. If you ain't got one, you should have one. Uh, all for that, to be honest. Uh, 832 with bus cable. Uh, and there you go. You know, the problem is, is, you know, I have to run it through the wall or figure it out. But I can run another 832 outlet or, or breaker. And, and plug it in and do that as well. I would probably get a separate one for if I really wanted to do all these tanks eventually when they're all set up on a single apex, then I would probably do something like that and different, you know, figure out that I could put a probe in each tank and run multiple things off of that single apex. Um, yeah, so if I had to get uh, modules for extra pH probes, tank one, tank two, tank three, tank four, then that's what I would do, you know, stuff like that. Um, yeah, that's, that's what I would do. I wouldn't buy, I, but then again, it's, I, I don't know. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when time comes. Yeah. And I don't want to be that far apart. So, uh, anyway, well, everyone, uh, like I said, there's, uh, we got to figure out as far as how we're going to be dosing this tank. We got to figure out, uh, our return pump, um, those are things that I'm waiting on, and so, so to do, what are we going to dose to the tank? You know, like Red Sea, Part A, Part B, you know, things like that, and maybe some other trace elements and whatever. So, you know, maybe some dosing pumps, a four set, uh, return pump, um, and whatever else I might have forgot. I, I don't know. I, I try to do things at a, at a nice pace, but like I said, this is what I got from saltwateraquarium.com the other day. Um, these are the things that are going to be set up, and I'll be making videos on each one of these things, unboxing, stuff like that. Obviously, you guys seen this stuff multiple times. Um, this is my first time with some of this stuff. The new heater, didn't even think about it. The new heater, uh, the narrow fives. The ATL Reservoir, which is really nice and clean and sleek looking, I must say. Obviously, I do run a tons of the Osmolator, uh, 3155 that is. And uh, we're going away with the Red Sea um, ATL here because I really feel like it is a distraction and it is in the way. Um, the Red Sea Reef Octopus, like I said, um, it probably is a beast. Uh, for you guys, if you're watching this at a later date or watching it here, whatever, let me comment down below. This is the 600. Um, like I said, this material seems to, it, it, it's, it's a lot lighter. Um, it's, it's very light. Um, it's, I, I feel like I have to be very careful with this uh, versus the uh, Reef Octopus. Um, it, it, it just, it feels very brittle. It doesn't mean that it's not going to work really well. Um, it can be a beast at skimming. So, I'm just telling you my initial thoughts, but we'll dig back into my final thoughts once it's up and running. And how is the uh, Red Sea Reefer 600 Protein Skimmer? Um, how how does it handle collection, waste, those, those type of things, and the rest of this stuff? So, with that being said, guys, thank you all for stopping in and uh, watching this live versus me sitting here doing this on uh, and, and editing it. So, we will leave this up. I will go in and, you know, 
finish off my what I need to do with this upload. Uh, we are definitely live. Uh, I'll you know put my hashtags. Please don't forget to share these videos. You know, if there's videos that you've seen in the past that you like when I was setting up the calcium reactor, stuff like that, go back to them, share them. Let it get out there more for more people to be able to say, hey, I was just thinking about, you know how many people already said that, hey, I was thinking about a uh, calcium reactor, your video came up, and it was a great help. A lot of people. So things that you like, the videos that you like, please go ahead and share those to your other things that you may watch or whatever. Um, share it. Share it um, and all that stuff. Now, we didn't get to the, the whatchamacallit, I was going to share something very special that I'm going to be changing on the beast, but we didn't make it there, and I'm like 10 minutes over. So, um, yeah, we'll save that for a later date as well. It was a nice piece of eye candy. I thought you guys were going to really whatever, but not everybody might not be able to do something they're at work or got the memo. So that that's all right. That gives me something to talk about later at a later date. Uh, with that being said, you guys have a great rest of the day, and uh, God bless, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.